Good morning, guys, and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beta Berserker. Yeah, hope you guys keep me safe and well with all this madness going on with COVID still, and the rule of six is starting today, and it's Monday, and it'll work this evening. But I'm back with a beard review for you, and thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I say this each and every single time because I really mean it. Thank you for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Man. And here on my Bearded Berserker YouTube channel where it's all about showing you guys there is an alternative to huge, massive, faceless brands. There are small brands, there are individuals, and there are craftsmen out there that are making some really amazing products which we need to get behind, help them, and support them as much as we possibly can. So yeah, I'm back with another beard review this morning. So, yeah. And with all the reviews that I do on the channel, all of my reviews always have been and always will be completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own opinion. And as always, links will be down below in that description box. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, we've got plenty more to come. And I'd love to hear from you guys. I read and respond to each and every single comment that is made. And if there is anything you want to see, any help you need, please get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. So Monday morning, 10 past 10, got work this afternoon at 3 o'clock. So I thought I'd do a review. And this morning's review has been very, very kindly sent through from Beard Illusion. Small little beard brand, and they've very kindly sent through a few products for me to have a look at, see what I think of, and give you guys my honest opinion. I have tried the products, I've used the products, so I know exactly what they're like. This is not an unboxing video. And so they're based here in the UK, and fairly small brand, actually, to be honest with you. Sent through a box. This is the box that it came in, all nicely done with a little sticker in there and black paper as well no plastic involved so that is a, always a good thing because I'm always checking out to see how stuff sort of like is packaged because with upcycling and recycling and everything like that it's always good to see and um, so nice little logo on that this is the logo for beard illusion kind of like a voodoo bearded top hatty chappy uh, Beard Illusion Limited, Redim Levinsky, Sales, www. So there you go, I will be posting links down below. So inside the box, there was a beard oil, which we'll be looking at, beard, bar, uh, beard butter, and a beard balm as well. Also inside, here's the card, a couple of stickers, which will be going on the review mirror. So nice little st sticker there. And fingers up to shaving as well. That's a cool little sticker, that is. I like that one. And inside as well was a postcard. There you go. Quite a cool little postcard. And again, it's got the fingers up to shaving. And uh, well, hello there, stranger. I couldn't help but notice someone as beardful as yourself. I can I can imagine a beard such as your own just uh, doesn't just make you hot in summer but all year round um, I, I've been called many things in my life but hot is not one of them um, I wonder if your beard is the only long thing about you and I've got long legs as well uh, you can forget about lifting weights from here on out with helping hand from beard illusion your magnificent beard will be lifting skirts in no time Doubt that very much. Uh, perhaps over time, uh, you'll even let me stroke yours. My man, Brigitte. So that was in there as well. So it's a nice little touch. And I do like it when these small brands, they go with the sort of all these letters and everything that you get with them. It's kind of just going that extra mile is really nice. And also was a letter as well about the products that they've sent. So basically, they do beard care products, so balms, butters, and beard oils. I'd like to thank you for your support to Beard Illusion. Um, I'll break down a few lines about products you are getting to know, let you know what's in them. All products have been CPSR checked, cosmetic product safety report. Always make sure that wherever you buy from, they've always got the CPSR. Always do a test patch first, because the last thing you want to do is slather yourself in stuff and end up turning into a zombie or, I don't know, whatever. And so we've got the beard oil, 
Uh, sorry, the beer butter, which is the after dark. We've got the motivator, which is the beard oil, and we've got the mamam briguette, uh, which is the beard balm. So first of all, we're going to look at the beard oil itself. Motivator. Uh, many of us find it absolutely hard to wake up in the morning. Not after two or three espressos, I don't. Espressos. Uh, we somehow do not manage to sleep on time. I mean, who will watch those episodes of the show uh, you're binging on right now? And we can't even manage to wake up in time for the mornings to be sufficiently productive. But let's try to change that, yeah? This is a 100% natural blend of bergamot, black pepper, frankincense, lime and orange. Not only helps you with your hardcore morning, but also make you feel fueled and energised for the day ahead. Ingredients wise, this is the 30 ml bottle. They just do the 30 mils. It's got the uh, blue amber glass, which is nice to see that it's carried through all of their products. Blue amber, blue Bristol blue glass or blue glass. Um, ingredients, castor oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, jojoba oil or jojoba oil. 100% natural essential oil blend. And so, again, it's nice to see the, how to use, and it's also got the ingredients clearly written on the side. Nice logo as well. I do like the logo. It's nice to see something different. I like the red and the white and the black. Very, very nice. Got rubber pipette on the top. My preferred method of administering beard oil. Kind of light pale yellow. A few drops in the old pores, put the top back on this. I don't smell beard oils or anything really from the bottles anymore because it's once you start generating heat through it, that's when you can detect sort of everything in there. So kind of medium viscosity, not ridiculously runny. That's a punchy little number. Okay, so I have a scent chart here. Very subtle, medium. Rip your head off and kick it into next year. This is a good hearty medium, sort of up to around about three quarters. Uh, definitely getting the initial hit of the lime and the orange. Black pepper, I tend not to sort of detect black pepper in a lot of beard oils that I have reviewed and used. They say black pepper, but I can't really sort of detect it. Certainly a back hit of bergamot and the frankincense in there as well. And I have found with this that the orange and the lime does tend to sort of creep down, sort of like in intensity level, and then you get the frankincense and the bergamot. Kind of gives it a nice florally sort of hit as well to it. Really nice, really well rounded. Like I say, you do get that initial punchy, not ridiculously citrusy sharp, but a really nice um, kind of citrus burst to start with, with the lime and orange. Yeah, definitely now getting the bergamot and frankincense. And I'm finding it seeps into my skin or soaks it, absorbs, soaks into my skin fairly quickly. I've had no problems with red skin, itchiness, flakiness, Clumps of beard hair falling out. I have done test patch of this to start with. Really, really nice. On average, it's lasting for around about four hours before I can't detect it anymore, but the other half has come home from work and she says she can still smell it. Really, really nice beard oil. Like I said, the initial hit of the orange and the lime, really, really good. And it's a good beard oil, to be honest with you. So there you go, that one is the motivator. Quite a nice sort of almost Christmassy sort of scent of that as well with the frankincense in there. Goes really well with the cinnamon balm too, which I've tried. Moving on, we have the Maman Briguette um, beard balm. A complex, sharp, fruity and floral blend of frankincense, lemon, spikenard and fragrance oil. Maman Briguette was inspired by Voodoo Loa. Um, Maman Briguette was tough, serious, fun-loving, the life of party, caring, protective, respectful, loud and wild, despite the fact of her rude and foul mouth. She is also well-spoken and behaves in a regal manner. This blend is beautiful and you can wear it to any occasion. Ingredients. 
shea butter, shea butter, however you want to pronounce it, mango butter, cocum butter, beeswax, castor oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, and essential oil, fragrance oil blend as well. Scoop a little bit out. Again, comes in the blue. Let's see. Oh, there's got small batch numbers on here as well. I've just noticed that. So it's nice that they are small batch. So oh, there's even one on the oil as well. So you don't get that with this sort of like over the, not over the counter, but stuff you buy in boots and places like that. To, now the funny thing is, usually I find with the beard oils, they've got a high, sort of stronger scent than the beard balms. Whereas I'm finding with the beard balm on this one, it's actually got a stronger scent than the beard oil. And it, that is, is beautiful. Really can smell the lemon, the spikenard and the frankincense. And it's, it's quite a floral scent. Um, it's quite punchy. It's virtually up here, which is almost unheard of uh, with the beard balm because they're usually a lot with the butters in there and the emulsification. They tend to be a bit more subtler. Really nice, just the right amount of, um, what's his name, beeswax in there, just to keep those flyaway hairs in check. I've already got beard balm in there this morning, but it actually doesn't hurt. So as you can see, it kind of just helps keep those flyaway hairs in check. Um, it's not obviously a styling agent, but it does help, and the beeswax sort of locks in all the moisture and everything into your beard. To your hair really really nice i love this one the lemon isn't too citrusy it's kind of almost like a sugary lemon scent and with the spikenard or spikenard it's spike s-p-i-k-e-n-a-r-d spikenard 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 um frank says really really lovely scent one of my favorite beer bums i've tried in a long while this one Absolutely love that. Um, they do it in a 30 mil pot. I hope they bring out a 60 mil of this because I could definitely, definitely up for buying one of those. We'll talk about prices at the end, but this is a 30 mil pot. And bearing in mind, when using beard balm for a beard my sort of length, I'm literally using half a fingernail's worth, which is pretty much that. So I put that back in there. Make sure I've got them sent off before I go on to the butter. And the butter is what apparently a lot of people are raving about. Uh, the After Dark Beard Butter, Whipped Beard Butter. Premium oil blend and organic unrefined butters, whipped to perfection with hints of lavender, orange, patchouli, cedarwood and ylang, -ylang. This blend is absolute killer and 100% natural. Ingredients, she butter, shea butter, however you want to pronounce it, mango butter, cocum butter, castor oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, herba oil, 100% natural essential oil blend. Comes in a 60 ml pot. Again, it's got all the ingredients and everything around it, which is good. And this is the after dark. Make sure my hands don't smell of anything else. Wipe it down, James. That's fine. And this is a very, very light whipped butter. Um, don't obviously need that much because that's just stupid. And I have found with this butter is it does emulsify very, very, very quickly. It's really, it doesn't feel grainy or gritty. And literally right off the bat, getting that punch of lavender. And I have found with this beard butter, which I might sometimes put a bit in before go to sleep and everything, the lavender does kind of help to relax after a day at work. The lavender is that main hit. Then you get a slight hit of the orange and the patchouli and the cedarwood, but most of all it's the lavender. And strength-wise, the scent is right up here really punchy and the lavender and orange work so well together i can see why people really like it um it's not too greasy because some butters can be a little bit greasy and a little bit clawy and cloggy it's quite a light whip butter but yeah that lavender is just so pronounced 
in the sand and then you've got the others behind it. It does die back a little bit to let the others through, but really, really nice scent. I'm not gonna put any more on my beard because I've got enough stuff on there for today. Put it on the tattoos because it's good for your skin, which is why, believe it or not, you use a lot of beard oils and balms and butters because it's for your skin because as your beard grows, it pulls the moisture and all the oils and everything out of your skin. So it's for kind of more your skin and everything else. But really, really nice scent. And I have found with all three of these, they're extremely well made. Um, he's written me a big long list and everything that goes into them really caring about and showing passion about what he's doing. And it comes to prices. So, beard oil, £14.99 for the 30 mil. The Maman Briguette uh, beard balm. £12.99 for a 30 mil and £15.99 for the after dark um, beard butter. Slightly more on the expensive side, um, I've seen sort of like beard oils and bums going from a fiver up to a sort of like 70 quid for a beard oil I have tried once before. Um, so it's more on the expensive side, but they are really well put together. Um, yeah, I, I highly rate them. This is, I can see why everyone's raving about the beard uh, butter. Really nice scent to it. To be honest though, my personal favourite out of the three is the Maman Briguette um, Beard Balm. I hope at some point they bring out a 60ml version of this. Um, I think they do the Maman Briguette in a beard oil as well. So if they bring out the 60 and I'm going to buy the beard oil and the balm as well. So really, really nice products, really well put together. Um, nice sort of base ingredients in there. Love the packaging. Even the letters come in a wax sealed beard illusion uh, envelope. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Top notch products from Beard Illusion. Thank you so much to to sending those through. Links are gonna be down below in the description box. I know this was a bit of a longer review, it's sort of like 18 minutes, um, but there was a lot to get in. And thank you guys. I hope whatever you do today, whatever you're getting up to, keep on taking care of each other, keep on helping, supporting each other, and above all, you only live once, keep on loving each other, and stay safe, stay healthy, take care. Look forward to seeing you in the next review. Thank you so much to Beard Illusion. If you're looking for some cool products, Gonna be right up your alley. There you go. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.